So for the walnut drops, I've taken 200 grams of dark chocolate compound. You can use the milk chocolate compound too and just chop them up into smaller pieces. Now I'm going to prepare a double boiler. I've just taken a vessel with some water in it and I put a bowl. The bowl shouldn't touch the water. I'm going to add this dark chocolate and I'm going to keep the flame between low and medium, stirring in between and we're going to melt the chocolate completely. Now while the chocolate is melting, I'm going to chop up about 100 grams of walnuts. We're not going to chop them up into very small pieces, but a whole walnut into halves. Now I'm also going to line my baking tray with some butter paper. We're not going to do any baking, but this is just for setting the walnut drops. And now once our chocolate has melted, I'm going to take it off the flame. Just mix it a bit. Then I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of vanilla essence. This will just elevate the flavor of this walnut drops, of these walnut drops. And then I'm just going to add these chopped up walnuts. Give everything a nice mix. See that all the walnuts are nicely coated with the chocolate. And then just scoop up, you know, uh, chunks like these or dollops like these of the mixture. Place them at an inch of, uh, you know, a distance of at least one inch from each other. And that's it friends and now all you have to do is just refrigerate this for even about 30 minutes. They set really really fast. And after 30 minutes your walnut drops are all ready. Now this is a real quick and easy method. There is a lengthy method where you have to use condensed milk and cocoa powder. I will leave that recipe down too if you want to make it that way. So I hope you like this recipe. It's really delicious and, you know, it will really make your Christmas tree look even more beautiful. So I hope you give this recipe a try. today's recipe as well as today's video and if you would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up also by, by clicking the thumbs up icon also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes once you have subscribed there is a small little bell icon that will pop up so just click on that that way whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video you get a message for the same so on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.